Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna do a good old palette wrangle with my It's Bell Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. And I'm also gonna use their new essential eye brush set that they just came out with. I'm gonna see what that's all about. But before we get into everything, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I'm just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot on any makeup, so if that is what you're into, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. But with that being said, let's get into this video. So let's start picking the shades. So I'm going to do two per each palette, make it interesting. So that's 10 shades to work with on my eyes. So we'll start off with the Donna Fall palette. This one has nine shades in it, all metallic. So let's see what my screen will generate. I have one through nine. And I got number eight. Okay, so number eight. So I'm going like one through this way. So number eight would be this Riverside shade. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, and it's so like foiled. I'm gonna start swatching the shades over here. So let's do one more. So we'll hit that and we've got number three in the palette. So. That would be this deep four shade right here, which is like a purple to green dual chrome. This one's a lot smoother. It's a little bit more satiny. So now let's get into the Break the Rules palette. This also has nine shades in it. And we'll hit generate again. And I got number two. So number two is this one right here. It's like a pink to orange shifty, really shimmery, beautiful metallic. And then I'm gonna hit generate one more time. And we've got number six. Yeah, number six, which is this shade right here. Ooh, a green shifty shade. This is eager for more. I love these metallics in so many ways. So we'll put that here. Now we'll get into the flare palette that also has nine shades. These are just lighter tones. So let's see what we get there. We've got number two, it's Star Ruby. This one right here. This one's like a magenta and purple shifty one. And we'll swatch that here. And then we'll get into one more. And I got number five, which is Rose Water. This one down here. This one's super reflective. Oh, that's gonna make like the perfect inner corner highlight. And now let's get into uh, the Fruity Realm palette, which is all matte. So let's see what we'll get. We got number nine, which is this beautiful Concord grape shade. Ooh, we got a deep matte. I'm so happy to have an all matte palette too. So now let's get one more shade. And we've got number seven. Number seven, and here is this guava shade. Ooh, we got like a nice bright pink, like mid-tone pink. And then the last palette is the Cool Summer palette. And this one has 16 shades, and this has a mix of mattes and metallics. So let me update the site, one through 16, and hit generate. Okay, number four. What is number four? Ooh, okay, we got another matte, this one right here which is also another matte pink shade. It's actually quite similar to that shade, that's funny. And then let's get one more. And we've got number 15. And number 15 in here is a metallic, but it's the most perfect metallic. It's a like bright green one that's so flaky and foiled. So that is gorgeous. And I'll swatch it right here. So here's the shades that we're working with. A very interesting mix of shades. We've got some greens, pinks, some like shifty darker ones. So the obvious choice is to start off with the Concord Grape shade and the Fruity Realm palette. I like to start off with the deeper shades. So I'm going to start off with the E5 brush. This looks like a perfect brush to like pack a shade on the outer corner. And I did prime my eyes already with the MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. So I'm gonna start on the outer corner. And I think I might, I might pack this all the way through. I got my little It's Belt Cosmetics mirror that I always use. By the way, this brush 
is so soft. Like, wow, these bristles feel good on the eyes. So since I don't really have a shade to blend this one out, I'm just going to take a clean brush. I'm gonna use the E6 brush from the set. This one's a little fluffier, but still on the smaller side. And I'm just going to work that on the edge. Now let's get into the other mattes. I'm gonna start off with Guava, and I'm gonna use that on the lower lash line. Am I doing the typical steps? Probably, but I don't care. This is my look and what I wanna do. And I love a little pop of pink on the bottom. And I'm using the E3 brush. It's like the little pencil brush. It's so small and teeny. And I'm just stamping that shade down here. And then now I'm going to get this smaller blendy brush. This one is in E4. And I'm gonna take the, it's a flamingo shade. It seems like it will work down there too, I think. This one's a little bit more red tone, but I felt like it seemed just a smidge lighter. So I'm gonna use that to blend the bottom. And I guess it's gonna make like a, a little bit more of a reddish tone down here. So what metallic should I go into? I'm pretty sure the obvious one is this one right here, this green, which is in the Break the Rules palette, this Eater For More shade. So I'm gonna get the flat little shader brush. Isn't this so cute? It's so teeny. This one is E2. I love how small this is. So I'm gonna pick up that shade. It's so creamy. Whew. And I'm gonna wet it so we can Try to minimize shimmer fallout. And I'm gonna put it on the edge closest to that Concord shade that we have packed on the outer corner. Ooh, this is so pretty. I'm not gonna take it too far. I'm just gonna keep it on the outer edge right there. And I love how little this brush is. You can just do like little intricate details with this and get like the perfect placement your shadow because it's so small. So now I think I want to take a little bit of this shade right here. This one is in the Donna Fall palette, the Deep Forest shade. I feel like I should use that even further on the outer corner because I forgot this one is deeper than this green. So we're gonna use it over the outer corner. I feel like that's a better option because it has more depth to it. So now let's go into this shade right here, which is in the Flare palette, the Star Ruby shade. This one right here. And I'm using the same little brush. This is going to be a very interesting mix of colors. So now I wanna take this shade right here. It looks different on camera, but when I look at it, I see totally different tone. But that is the Riverside shade from the Flare palette. This one is really shifty, and I'm going to put it over the inner portion because it does add brightness. It has a really intense shift. I'm just layering it a little bit on top of the shade I just used. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Stay Radical, the shade from the Break the Rules palette, and I'm gonna clean off the brush. And I'm gonna use that on the bottom part. I'm just trying to pick up as much as I can and I'm going to spray it. And I'm gonna put some here. I have two shades left to use. I'm going to take the one in the Cool Summer palette, this one called Summer Nights and use that as my inner corner highlight because that's like my favorite shades to put in the inner corner. And I'm gonna take the what is this called, the E1 brush? Look at that teeny little pencil. And I'm gonna pick it up. Such a perfect little brush. And I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna put that in the very inner corner for all the bright vibes. Oh, look at that. Shades like this is always meant to be in the inner corner. And the very last shade, I have to use is rose water and we're gonna use it as a topper because that just seems like the right thing to do. So I'm just gonna 
like top it in the center. I don't know where else to put that shade. Maybe I, I, I chose too many <laughs> to put on my eyes, but it's okay. I'm just putting it like right in the center. It's such a bright light shade, so it's gonna like add some more brightness to the eyes. So I'm going to now go off camera. I'm gonna do my lashes, mascara, figure out something for my lips and my waterline, and then I will come back to show you guys how the final look came out. All right, my loves, I'm back, and here is the finished look. It came out very bold and dramatic. I went with a super bold lippy, and I'm actually happy with how it turned out now that I have lashes and liner on and I did decide to do a liner detail. I felt like I needed something more to ground the look and bring it all together because I felt like it was looking a little disjointed. Like I kind of just had random shades thrown on the lids. But once I did this liner detail, I was like, hey, my look looks like it was actually on purpose, if that makes sense. But I did go into the Unearthly Cosmetics Not In The Mood palette, it's their cake liner palette, and I went into this pen right here called Make Moves into the yellowy green shade, just to create a little arch, a very simple detail to add. And then I went in with the Super Bold Lippy. This is the Glam Light Liquid Lipstick in Berrylicious. It matches the shade on the lower lash line perfectly. And then I used the ColourPop Liner and Lover Boy. It's also a hot pinky shade that matches the lower lash line. I used the Glam Light Candy Bar Lashes and the Kiss Lash Glue Liner to stick them on. And I used a little bit of the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. And that's all I did to put this look together. What do you guys think? Did I do a pretty good job with putting all these random shades together? I think I did, because I was worried. I was looking at this and I was like, I'm not sure. This might look like a hot mess, but I'm gonna give it a try. And palette bingos are so fun because it forces you to be creative and just try different things and see what you can come up with. And you might find like a cool color combo that you would never have thought of to do on your own. That's why I like to do these because sometimes I get in a rut. Sometimes I just want to do something different, but that was everything for this palette bingo with all of my It's Belle Cosmetics palettes. Love all of them. They're amazing. Such a good brand. Check them out if you haven't. They have really good stuff and they're a very affordable indie brand and they make high quality shadows. But you guys will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you do palette bingo? Have you tried this? What do you think of the look? Like, give me all of your thoughts I would love to hear from all y'all and if you're new here and you enjoyed this video you like a lot of fun colorful makeup content you like a lot on indie makeup then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family I'd love to have you here also don't forget to check out the description below I have the palettes linked if you want to check them out for yourself I'll have other it's about cosmetics videos that I have done in the past if you want to see like reviews on any of these palettes and more looks with them I will also link my face makeup like what I'm wearing for foundation and everything in case you're curious and I will also have my contact and my social media platforms link I'm also on Instagram as Breezy Lifestyle and Breezy underscore beauty so if you want to join my Instagram fam I would really really love that but guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video for being here for supporting me being amazing I just appreciate you guys all so much and I just hope all of y'all are doing well wherever you are in the world and I'm just sending you all so much light and love but until next time bye guys mm -hmm.